Good day internet. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you this awesome Raspberry Pi case I made. So, you may just be thinking, you know, this is a square tube, you know, and that's about it. And you wouldn't be too wrong, but I really like this for a couple different reasons. It's got great cable management. You can fit Ethernet and USB cables right here through the bottom. Put them through the legs to the back. And with even the really long keyboard, USB, you know, it's not going to hit the table. And uh, same with the power HDMI audio. It can all sit on your desk and you, it won't look like a ratty mess. So, and it's one piece, no fasteners, nothing. But the real gem is, is for uh, crazy Pi overclockers out there is that it actually fits a Noctua fan on top of it. So I'm gonna try using the three and five volt sources to run this puppy. So it'd actually be in this orientation to help along with the in thermal, is it inductive or? convective heating I don't know it's kind of a tower so it should help the form of it should help draw heat from the bottom through the top and if you really want to go crazy you can add this so I've got a new session a Raspberry Pi that we can go ahead and put on this uh, standard Pi 4 and see how this performs with and without the cooler so let's go all right so I've got the SD card installed and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to insert this in here so without even looking at it from the right way <laughs> through the camera it's kind of hard but it actually has a slot i don't know if i can focus right on the inside so it, it will line up and snap in just like that and actually it's not going to come out even if it's upside down so let's get this uh hdmi and power and see what happens all right, so we got the Pi in the case and Twister OS is booted up, no problem. First try, so let's start Commander Pi and see what the temps and clocks are like. So... Fifteen hundred megahertz now. Thirty-five C. So let's see what we can uh, get that to. By the way, the room is at 17. We'll go for 2000. GPU speed of 650. Over voltage of six. Apply and reboot. Are you sure? Yes. All right. I guess I have to apply all values. <laughs> Try again. See what kind of temperatures we're looking at. All right, we're booted back up into Twister OS. We're looking at about <laughs> 10 more C or maybe only five. We got the overclock on the CPU. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to watch a YouTube video. All right, so we've got Crab Rave open here on YouTube. The overclock, and let's uh, refresh it. See how much frames we drop. What the temps like. can feel a little hot air coming out the top, so without a fan, it is working. Get stats for nerds. And we got a 60C, 62C, 59C temperature, which isn't too bad for 17C environment ultimately we want to keep it below 80 see if we can go full frame uh, it doesn't really like that <laughs> And 
Anyway, it looks like we're back, uh, topping out at about 66C here. So, what do you say we mount the fan on it and see where it goes from there? All I'm doing, uh, for this is a little, uh, RC soldered up for, uh, five and ground. So, wired up like this should work perfectly to get 5 volt and ground right connected in a GPIO and uh, you're not going to be able to see this too well maybe but it'll just be going in 5 volt in the middle of this 3 pin fan connector and ground on the <laughs> it's kind of hard to see but the bottom right side with the tab All right, so here it is with the fan installed. Two uh, M3x30s work really well. They just self-tap into these holes already. And the fan's actually reversed just to protect your fingers and also just not fight the natural draft coming from the tower. So let's plug it in. And we're starting up. fans running already so it's plugged in correctly you can see it spinning there but you can't really hear it So we're already 10 C cooler than we were without the overclock. So let's see what Chrome does. Get our Crab Rave benchmark going. Back up to 45C. <laughs> We've got the stock, you know, aluminum heat sinks you get in a bag on this. Actually, from 3D printer steppers, so. And Crab Brave is illegal, I guess. No? There we go. It's not the exact same, but here's some 1080. And uh, it gets it to 49. See what kind of games this has, and we have Minecraft. So, creating a new world. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we should try the. Uh, 2.1 let's see what happens because this seems to be pretty easy twenty one hundred we'll go for GPU seven hundred this time over voltage of six and apply and reboot I'm sure and we're in
Let's give Minecraft another try. <laughs> Alright. So we got uh, Crab Rave going here. Playing some Minecraft. It is a little stuttery playing 1080p at the same time, but we're still under 50C. So you can see the fans still going there on the left. Uh, but I'd say overall I'm pretty happy with the case. Definitely cooled the pie, which was the goal, so. And it seems to be able to handle workloads pretty well, so. I mean, you're not going to be paying, playing Crisis on the pie <laughs> just because the case, but. You know, if you want to, uh, you know, just have it either cable managed a little better or you don't feel like buying a $20 case for your Pi, I think this is a good solution. So you can find this uh, file for free on my Thingiverse page. I'm going to have uh, it available in STL and step format on my Patreon. So. If you want to check that out, I'll have it in the link below along with my website. So this is my first video on my new channel, so like and subscribe, and smash that sub button, and hit the, <laughs> the bell yeah, notification. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking uh, the video out if you made it to the end, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.